everybody. Welcome back. It's been a while. Yeah, almost, uh, what, over a month now. And you probably saw the opening clip. We got more snow. So I guess I'm going to have to get rid of that snow. No, just kidding. It's that time of the year. Winter's over. Time to do some summer work. Yeah, that's it. I'm done with winter. I'm getting ready for summer. That's it with the winter gear. I'm done. Finish. Kaput. So, that cleared up. You'll probably notice the snowblower has been removed. Uh, I took that clip, I think maybe three weeks ago. Uh, I'll show you part of it. And now it's time to put the front end loader back on. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, so I closed the door because uh, the light wasn't that great. And I'm using the uh, um, DJI Osmo for the first time. So we'll see what kind of video that produces. So we'll undo this. this well not remove it release the, uh, the PTO turn it back on Just checking the layout, how it's going to fit underneath, and if I've got modifications to make to help simplify taking this off without wrenching my back. Just going to go under, take the shaft off, disconnect it, and uh, I'll spare you that. You've seen it many times. So now I'm going to install this little rubber rubber feet foot uh, at the end of the uh, PTO shaft of the uh, quick hitch so that if it hits the ground, it won't damage it. Just a little protection right there. There you go. And I think I'm going to cut an opening here so that I can slide this further. Wasn't a smart idea. So I'm gonna put something else 
there in the meantime. So Martin, don't do that. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Martin, by the way, is a guy, uh, one of my subscribers, and uh, he followed making this uh, dolly. He sent me the plan and all the drawing that he did. It's pretty cool. Good job, Martin. But uh, my idea of cutting this out to fit underneath, not a good idea. So I will temporarily find some blocking. So yeah, thought it was a bright idea. <laughs> it wasn't. Okay, done. I'm gonna clean up the area here, move some things around so I have room to bring in the tractor and uh, put the loader back on. So let's move some stuff. Squirrels had some fun. They chewed on my Christmas lights. Uh. Okay, I think I'm ready to start the tractor, turn it around, and this intimidates me a bit, so I'll be honest. I have uh, my iPad there with uh, Ryan's video of when he puts it back on and off. Ryan Lynch, go check out his channel, really good guy. So I got there just in case I gotta refresh the memory, the old one. <laughs> Now the fun part. Okay, I got the iPad there. I just watched part of the clip. I'll try and do what Ryan did, uh, does. I'll put it in neutral. Start the tractor. put two boards when I took it off I put the boards on the front tire 
which was a mistake and I got some really good comments from uh, subscribers and that's why I was on the uneven floor I needed to raise the back so that my pivot point here would drop properly inside so uh, by adding that and just moving forward a bit just to raise my rear end I was able to latch it on so that's done let's move it out my weights put the weights back on give me more ballast okay I'm gonna take it for a spin around the trail operate the loader and uh, come right back. By the way, just want to give you an update. Uh, the robins have laid four eggs. I think they all hatched. I'll go there quickly because they see mom's not there. I'll show you. There you go. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to uh, some of the subscribers, my friends, that uh, reached out and sent me messages to find out if, uh, if I was okay. Uh, they were worried. Uh, there's Dave at RCAF Coral Express. There's Chris at uh, Watershed Overlook. Uh, Ross, Ross on the Land, and even Gene Hardy, uh, who's a subscriber that watches my videos. Uh, they were all wondering, and even Mitch Lakely, and uh, they were wondering if uh, I was okay. And that really touched me. And I really appreciate you guys reaching out and uh, seeing if everything was okay. So uh, thanks for that, really appreciate that. Okay, so now on to the sticker reveal. Um, the first one I received was from Chris at Watershed Overlook. And it's a pretty cool card. I'll put my glasses and show you and read some of the text. I'll hide the stickers. Um, this is the card. It's a U.S. Air Force uh, jet. I'll read you the text in the back. It says, the illustration on the front depicts, I'll show you like this, a North American F-86H Sabre um, that was stationed, it was part of the 386 Fighter Bomber Squadron stationed at Clovis, now Cannon Air Force Base in Clovis, New Mexico, from 1954 to 1957. And according to the logbooks, Chris's dad, Lieutenant Duncan M. Bevan, flew this jet on at least two occasions, April 21st and May 12th, 1955. Now, how cool is that? So, uh, and in the card, uh, Chris put a nice text. It says, Luke, I finally jumped on board the sticker bandwagon and wanted to send you some straight away. Or just a small thank you for being such an early and ardent supporter of my little channel. I'm pretty sure you were one of my first subscribers, of course. Anyone who watches your channel will soon learn you are a great supporter of many, many fellow creators. Love your creative spirit and willingness to take some chances in pursuit of creating fun 
entertaining and informative content. Thanks for being there, Chris. So super nice letter, super nice card, which I will put up here. And um, these are the stickers, which are pretty nice. Watershed Overlook. So Chris, thank you very much. And I really like the card. So we'll be putting that on the cabinet there shortly. So the next one we got was from Justin at Just Cade Day Farm. Uh, sweet family. Uh, they did some maple syrup this year. Uh, I know he's working on a uh, rock bucket for his B2601. Yeah, B2601. And he says, hi Luke, uh, your Just Cade Day stickers have arrived. We just wanted to say thank you for exchanging stickers with us. We really appreciate all the support and comments on our videos. I love your channel and the humor you put into it. I usually get at least one good chuckle. Thanks again, Justin, Cadence, and Dana. So thanks guys, really appreciate it. And these are the two stickers, really nice. Put the sticker there, which will go there. And the next one was, from my neighbor, Ross, from Ross on the Land. And pretty cool stickers also. I love the old tractor on the sticker. Really nice. Hello, Luke. I'm finally getting around to sending stickers. I can't wait till summer so we can get together for a visit. Thank you for the sport, fun looking, uh, Support and fun. Looking forward to more adventure. Ross. Yes, sir. I hope we get together this summer and do another collaborative video. So thanks for the stickers, my friend. Really nice. And then the last one came in was from Logan at Fab Fun. Nice sticker someone welding in the background and the Logan's a great uh, creator a fabricator uh, he says dear Mr. Goulet oh that's official uh, thank you for supporting the channel you spend so much of your time promoting the channels you watch and enjoy your faithful viewing commenting and general support is an encouragement to everyone while your own content is wholesome entertainment thank you so much for helping to create such an awesome YouTube community. God bless Logan Hurst, have fun. Logan, much appreciated. Uh, yes, we are a nice uh, community. Uh, uh, I've got some catching up to do on some of the videos. I know that Justin, uh, uh, like I said, was working on that rock bucket. I think he's posted a video of one not too long ago that I got to catch up. Uh, Logan's been working on that uh, grapple. Um, so yeah, I got some catching up to do. And uh, so, Let's uh, bring a shop towel, clean the cabinet, and put those stickers up. Hope there's not too many reflections from the light coming in from the garage. So let's wipe these down. Put some stickers up. So first one from Chris. I'll put my glasses. So I can peel these off. Ha uh ha. -huh. That worked. All right. Watershed right here, right underneath Mitch from MJA doing stuff. Beauty. All right, from Justin, Caden, and Dana. Justin, right here. Looks great, Justin. Ross, you're gonna go right there under the, underneath Jason from User Helper. Very nice. Oh, great stickers, love them. And last but not least, Logan. Logan, we're gonna put you right here. I'm anxious to put these up. They look great. 
All right, so that's done. Thanks again, everybody. Really appreciate getting that mail and uh, the nice comments uh, you gave me in the, in the letters and also the uh, emails that I received asking if everything was okay. Really appreciate that. All right, well, uh, it's been uh, about three days since my last clip uh, where I'm in shorts and a t-shirt. Uh, I think it was like 25 Celsius. I'll put it in Fahrenheit. And uh, right now it's like nine Celsius. <laughs> I should have kept my winter suit on. So uh, not much going on. Uh, it's been a lot of rain and I think sun tomorrow and then more rain. So uh, take this time to maybe explain a bit uh, why I haven't been there for about five weeks. Uh, just been busy on other priorities, other stuff. Um, so yeah, I can't really get into details. And don't worry, it's not health related, nothing like that. Uh, so yeah, we, we, we've just been busy. So uh, now maybe I'll start getting back in the groove, I hope. And uh, this video probably would have been too long because I did do more stuff outside that day with the tractor. So uh, I'll put a video up and uh, probably post it uh, Friday after. So I hope you come back and watch it. So if you like this video, uh, don't forget to hit the like. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And why not share it with your friends? And uh, I guess we'll catch you on the next one. So thanks for being there. Take care. Stay safe. Bye for now, everybody.